Good afternoon and welcome to my weekly walkthrough. Here I am on the bench in Sparrow and um, this is all the plant material we have left. It's been a bit of a whirlwind but there's still lots to see so let's get to it. We've just made up these new patio planters. What do you think? We do them all in pairs because Mostly people like to purchase in pairs. This one has cosmos, so the fern, tall fern-like plant um, will have beautiful, beautiful big daisy-like flowers on it, and lots of nice vines and some pansies. And then those tall snapdragons in a pot with the nicotiana and begonia, the red and white um, mosaic geranium, beautiful. These two here are 12 inch, so they're a little bit smaller than the other ones that we were looking at, but it still has the beautiful snapdragons in it and pansies, lobelia, and some scented stock. That's nice to see. The pink polka dot plant down at the base of this planter here is uh, hypoestes, and then that's red, tall red uh, snapdragons surrounding a spike. Our cell pack selection is small, but still good. Some beautiful pansies and dianthus. We've got a few viola and gazania, some hypoestes in cell packs, a few petunias still left, plus a few cell packs of impatience, and then I think that's just about it for our cell packs. Another set of patio planters just done up. There's one lonely flower and cabbage left. I wonder if it'll still be here by the end of the day tomorrow. These four inch geraniums are last chance to buy. The rest of them are gonna go into six inch pots. Our geraniums did really well in six inch pots this year. People seem to love them, potted up so big. And we'll do that with the rest of these very shortly. The market packs have been a huge hit this year and I'm so glad people are really appreciating the, the mixed selection of plants. I mean, look in this one here already done for you. You have trailing, bushing, branching. You have a bit of it all in here. Like this one here, you have some pink polka dot plant, some dianthus and some gazania. I think my favorite ones are the ones with the aster and begonias and zinnia. I mean, oh my goodness, I can't wait for those asters to bloom. Here's an aster just about to bloom. Wow.
Here are just some of the four inch pots we still have left. Lots of spikes. Celosia in four inch pots, starting to bloom. Still have four inch pots of fuchsia. This one is Marinka. So pretty. This clematis has really been blooming for a long time. It's been a couple of weeks we've been looking at their flowers, hasn't it? People often ask what perennials are good for the shade and I think we've looked at this one already. The Aruncus is really great. Here it is here. It's, it'll die down to the soil surface and then regrow every year and bloom big white plumes in the spring. So that's a good one. Another one for the shade is this hardy sedum, one of my absolute favorite perennials. Uh, as soon as I get my garden a little bit more tidied up, then I'll take you out and you can see it growing in mine. Virginia, another one great for the shade. We seed this basil here and uh, looks like um, <clears throat> looks like I went a little heavy with the seed on some of the pots. My goodness, they're generous. Still a few raspberry canes. We keep seeding salad bowls. These just started to germinate. Here are some four inch tumbling tom tomato plants. Looking very strong. And we do still have a few cell packs of some vegetables. We've um, done a few seedings on some of them. Romaine lettuce, this is our third seeding, I think it is on this. And uh, our beets, third seeding on that, I believe as well. So they're a little bit smaller, but uh, Certainly not too late to plant them in your garden. And I've got some kale uh, planted as well. So that hasn't germinated yet. We'll keep our eye on that and it'll be available for sale. Just a couple of pots of zucchini and bush pickle left. And that's just about it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos and don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.